Hi everyone and welcome back to The Hard Adults. In today's video, me and my friend Sammy from Harley's Doll Host did a little collaboration dedicated to My Hero Academia, and even more so since Season 6 has premiered this year. We are both fans of the anime and we decided to make our favorite character with the only condition of using K-Club dolls as a base. And well, in my case it was very difficult for me to choose since I like all the characters except for Mineta, obviously. So with all the characters that I could choose, I decided to make Shoto Todoroki since I really like his queer and cold personality. And also because his voice in Japanese is performed by Yuki Kaji, the same seiyuu who plays my boy Eren in Attack on Titan. And as in every new project, I made a concept art of the character based on the proportion of the doll to have a better idea when I repaint his face. And of course, giving it my own personal touch by drawing it in my style. So, before we start, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell to get notified when I apply new videos. And without further ado, PLUS ULTRA! <laughs> I mean, let's get started. Very well, I already have my cake club doll. It is the first time that I repaint one of these dolls for the channel, and I must say that I really like the structure, the joints are so small that make it look so adorable. If you follow me on my TikTok account, you will recognize this doll which I made a little unboxing in one of my videos. So, the first thing I will do is remove the hair from his body to be able to clean it completely. With the hair removed, I begin to cut the hair near the root, so that later I scrap the hair inside with a flat screwdriver. After that, I take out the hair inside with tweezers. The good thing is that this doll did not have glue inside, which makes it easier for me. Now with pure acetone, I will be cleaning it. The face mold of this doll is very marked, but I don't think it will be a problem when repainted. So with that I will start working on his iconic hairstyle. As you can see, I already prepared the hair wets using red and white acrylic yarn, and I separated them to be able to work in a more organized way. I decided this time to paint it with cut to have a cleaner finish. I seen the dolly git do it in one of his videos, and the truth is that I thought it was a good idea and I wanna try it, obviously. With that I start to glue the wets in their corresponding places from bottom to top. Todoroki's hair is very iconic in the world of anime, and I hope to be able to give him an excellent tribute with this doll. And this is how he looks with the wet already glued. It seems strange to me to see in this way, but it will be improved when I make the cuts. Now with a small scissors, I start to cut from below. See ya, is that you? <laughs> With a scalpel, I start to cut the ends for a finer touch. Now with a brush, I start to style the hair. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it before, but styling a hair in anime style for dolls is practically like styling a wig for a cosplay. Only much smaller, obviously. <laughs> To protect the hair, I'm going to fix it as I hate that the hair of my dolls lose their shape. And this is how it turned out. Looks so clean with his two-toned hair that made me want to do a cosplay of Todoroki. <laughs> Very well, it's time to change the tone of his skin. And the first thing I did was sand his body with sandpaper and then pass a layer of MSC on top. Now I will mix my paints to be able to get the right skin tone of Todoroki. Now with a makeup sponge I will be passing the paint all over the dough. The paint also has water so that is why it looks very diluted. To do this process well, I pass the paint in layers, wait for it to dry, and then pass another layer until I feel satisfied. Now 
Now that the paint is dry, I spray it again to be able to contour in the parts of his body that are visible and give another type of finish. With that, it's time for the repaint. After applying three layers of MSC to his face, I already draw the lines of his eyes in order to continue with the other expressing lines as I draw them in my concept. Todoroki is a very serious person and trying to do his expression in a smiling mode was very difficult. But well, this has been the result and honestly it doesn't look bad. So with that I'm going to make the bore mark on his left eye. Wait 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 no no! Do it with chop pastels, jeez! With red chop pastel I'll go over the left side of his face so that the mark looks more natural. And with a clay eraser, I will go retouching the edges very carefully. With that, I continue contouring his face to give a more realistic effect. With more red child pastel, I highlight his scar more. And after another layer of spray, I continue filling his eye with watercolor pencils. The white pencil really helped me to make the clear effects on his face. To the second color, I will use a dark brown pencil for the eyelashes and dispersive lines. Todoroki is obviously a person with heterochromia, although it is also due to the two queers that he inherited from his parents. And what I will do is pass a layer of light blue to his left eye and another of grey on his right eye so that later I can continue lighting his face with more colors. Finishing using the pencils, I start to use the watercolor with the help of my fine brushes to give a more defined touch of light. And also to mark a point of color in the middle of the pupil so that no looks so basic. And speaking of highlighting, now I will use a black acrylic paint to mark only his lashes and continue retouching. With bright colors, I highlight his eyes, and even more in certain areas so that later I can put the shine of both eyes. Finish it that now I will protect what I did with gloss varnish. Oh, I also decided to do it on his eyebrows, but this time with matte varnish. And this is how it turned out. It looks the same as how I joined it in my concept which makes me feel satisfied. Well, let's see how it looks with his hair on. 
Wow, I'm shook. Did I really do this? Without a doubt, the hair made him take shape. <laughs> With that, it's time to make his hero costume. With this blue gabardine fabric, I will use it to make the base of his costume both on top and bottom, looking each piece in this way. I know that in my concept I joined it with this costume, but I decided to change it so that it looked more like in season 6. And yes, it seems that you have more accessories. So what I'm going to do is make the pattern on his shirt first by making the shape with tape, and then I'll put a coat of white paint on it and cover it all. After that I'll remove the tape very carefully. And fit some parts with more paint. Do so after painting the design. Being this way. Now I continue decorating the part of his neck. Now I'll protect the paint with matte varnish. And this is how it turned it out. With more paint, I also made the decoration of the pants, and I'm surprised that it is the same shape of blue. The pieces of clothing are ready, so I will go testing on the doll. As you can see, I had to sew the shirt so I could be joined. My intention is not to undress this doll again, since it's now a piece of art. And I know it looks very bad with that embroidery, but now I will fix it. With several layers of white glue, I will go over the area of the embroidery, so that later I can cover it with more paint, Thus leave the embroidery unnoticed. Off camera I painted a ribbon in silver to make the metal piece of his neck. Ok, I can't see this dog without his hair for another second, so I take my silicone glue and go over the edges of the wig very careful. So I can stick it to the head and then adjust it with my hand so that it's not uneven with the reroute line. My original plan for making the boots was to carve them right into the feet, but before I do that, Sammy comments me that Monster High and Ever After High boy shoes fit in the cake club dots. And well, I didn't have any of these shoes on my stock spots. But I did have one of the BTS dolls, which are the same foot size as the others, and besides that are white, which makes it resemble for the character's boots. So I start to test it if it's true about the shoes and see how they look. And I can't believe it, seriously they fit him and made him look completely different. Thank you so much Sammy for telling me this, you really saved my life. But I can't just leave them like that, and that's why I'll be modifying them with fabric and craft foam to make them look like Todoroki's boots. With that I'll be painting them with white paint to cover everything. Now with a fine brush I will be passing grey paint to the rest. It occurred to me to pass lines in black so that it will have a more graphic finish, since I don't like how it looked with the colors that I put on it, and I felt that with that gives a doll a more anime touch. Now with varnish, I will protect the paint. And this is how the boots look already put on the doll, and seriously, they look good on him. Off camera, I made his bracelets using craft foam for the metal parts, and I painted the hands to do the rest. With the same craft foam, I made the back piece of his back and the rest with ribbon. Along with that, I also made his belt along with these things that hang from him which I have no idea what they're calling and which I made it with a little epoxy. Making these accessories to scale was very difficult, but in the end I was able to achieve a good result. And this is how the accessories look now that I painted them. And like the boots, I also gave them the graphic touch so all the pieces will match. This belt that Todoroki is wearing now has some hanging objects. I have no idea what they are, but I made them out of wood just like I made past accessories. Now with super glue, I will glue in them very carefully. And now with matte varnish, I will be varnishing all the accessories. No. 
Definitely when these type of things are varnished, the result of the finish left me speechless, and more because of how the small details stand out. Once the accessories are finished, I will put them on the dough. And with that, Todoroki is ready. What can I say? This doll has left me exhausted. Making the accessory proportional was something very challenging, but in the end I have a lot of fun doing it. I always want to make a costume that has to do with My Hero Academia, and this collaboration was supposed to be able to do it. If you are a fan of the anime, tell me in the comments what is your favorite character, and what do you think about Season 6. I will be reading and responding all your comments, so I can't wait to see them all. I also want to mention that from now on I will start working on my new project, starting with the Spy Family repaint series continuing with Anya Forger. And well, thanks for watching this video. Like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. And don't forget to follow me on my other social media at The Harder Totes. The link on my coffee page is in the description, so if you want to buy me a coffee, I would really appreciate it. And don't forget to watch the video of Harley's Dollhouse. Her Bakugo doll is literally a bomb. <laughs> the link is also in the description, so you can miss it. That's all for today, guys. My name is Eric, and I'll see you next time. Bye!